And let me reiterate, this is only a small sampling. This is only a small sampling of the work that they have done. Uh, if we brought in um, all the evidence they've seized and all the firearms, illegal firearms, there's not enough room, uh, enough tables in this room to cover everything. So this is just the results of two weeks of hard and dedicated, committed work, dangerous work, as you can see by the firearms that the um, that the special investigative unit members have um, been conducting out there, working hard. But this evidence here is a direct result of targeting, targeting the drivers of crime in the city of Flint. Um, uh, it was possible by uh, the tips could come in from community members, concerned community members, uh, other investigations. But this is the result of responding to those community complaints getting out there, targeting these drivers of crime, and taking these illegal firearms, uh, narcotics, and drug money off the street. Uh, right now, what you see before you is approximately the um, illegal narcotics has a street value of approximately $60,000. Street value of $60,000. The U.S. currency that you see before you is a total of approximately $50,000 in cash. Could be more, um, but basically, uh, as we stated on uh, several several previous um, interviews, that uh, our job is to target the drivers of crime in order to reduce the crime rate in the city of Flint. Uh, not only is the special investigative unit involved in these endeavors, but the entire police department. Every division within this police department is out there working hard, dedicated, committed to uh, public safety. 